Alrighty, what's going on, you legends? Uh, welcome back to another video from the ASX Bull Shark. Uh, this is going to be quite a long this one. It's like a market watch, uh, just a TA breakdown of everything. But I'll try to keep it short and then just keep the videos pumping out. So, yeah, we can really break down everything that's going on, what's happening, and hopefully find out why. Well, that's a million dollar question, ain't it? Uh, look, we'll just jump straight into the spy X and just check out what the American markets are doing because there is a strong correlation between what they do and what we do, although it has been a little bit different as of late. But nonetheless, let's check it out. So, look, I do have a lot of indicators up, and over time I'll explain what each and every one of them do. But the main one I've got is like the MACD, the RSI, the DMI, which is a true trend indicator. Now, this is just the volume action, the VRVP. I like it, I like using it. it, just shows me where most of the volume has, or most of the action really is, right? And then this, the shaded boxes is the Fibonacci retracement tool, with the Elliott waves up there, yeah. And look, let's just get right into what the fuck is going on now. So I've been able to count it up to about here. Now it's just got really, really ugly. So there's still no clear waves to the upside. Um, there's little ones, right? I'm just talking about big ones. They've just been completely... This regard, so this is kind of a zigzag sideways action, even though it's channeling to the upside. Um, there is a potential of this, if you look on the weekly candles, for this to be a massive fucking flag to the downside, right? Now, what I've done is put a price action box here, which I've just drawn up myself, yeah? This blue shaded box, right? I just, I call it like a magnet box. It's just where price and the candles always seem to get drawn to. Um, there is a bit of resistance and um, support within that too. So it's acted as resistance, becomes a, like a support box, the tops become a ceiling, and the bottom again, like once it's broken through, has become a support. So yeah, pretty much stands out for me. Now, what I am looking at to happen now in this market is I've got this gap. So if I was to turn everything off, you can all off you can see that there's this gap here called the window rise the price always goes back to the gaps it's not 100 percent always but fuck man most of the time yeah it's gonna happen just give it time right now really believe that window is gonna close so i see this breaking up to the upside people freaking the fuck out thinking, oh my God, we're in a bull market after it breaks down this box, closing that window and coming back down. It's a theory. That's my theory. It doesn't have to be right. Shit, you can have your own. Now, that's just what I expect to happen with the general market sentiment. Okay? So that's just my thoughts. Again, this is not financial advice for God's sake. All right? Consult some expert okay it's just a technical breakdown from theories man just theories all right so yeah the theory theorizing that this will break up to the upside jesus fucking christ my god stop messaging me lord have mercy why now of all times all right I'm gonna vibrate okay so we are in a channel going to the upside yeah so it is moving up and that would probably yeah deceive a lot of people um this is not a clear breakaway yet even though it is break uh it is starting to close above the 200 ema i still need more i still need a clear um we have lots of volume the macd to be heavily positive moving up well above the histogram just for myself like you can see like this beast right that's just like motherfucking bang we are moving up very positive staying above Okay, here's just been an absolute just a chop fest up and down. Love the waves though. You can surf those. Well, th theory, in theory, it's a lot harder than it looks. Now, up, down. Yeah, so in the interim, we're still going to have a, like a mad rally, I believe, to the upside. Probably test this top of the box and then come back down and test the bottom of this channel. That's my thoughts anyway, right? VIX is looking like it's uh, may have bottomed. That's a high low, but this one here, when it came back down, it actually did make, just touched the bottom of that closed candle there, and it's going back to the upside, which is just telling me that it could be in for a slingshot just to the upside, right? Potentially, potentially, fuck. It could be, it's time. Now, I link that to the dollar, American dollar, just to see what's going on, because generally when this goes up, 
stock market goes down, right? Yeah, so this is now holding the 0 0.5 Feb line, um, just below, but still a point of interest. Now, that was its previous low, touched it, tickled it, and didn't break, and it's made a, I can almost say, a higher low, just, just. So there is potential for this to go to the upside. Um, yeah, that's diverging, that's going up, well, this is going down, so it's looking very, very interesting. Um, so that being said, gold, what's the gold price up to? Because that's correlated to. So when the DXY goes up, gold goes down. So that, right? So that goes up. Generally, the price, or price of gold goes down, downside. Now, what I'm liking about the gold, almost liking, uh, just what's showing interest is that we had this wedge to the upside, right? Um, very clear channel. And then we had a break, I had a couple of tests, and it's just coming down to the outside. Now it's in this chop box that I've just um, drawn all the way across from the other side, right, right, right back, I can show you. Uh, it's not very clear, it's just I have seen and liked the price action that's happened in there. So I'm just throwing in, just for me, context. Oh, it'll make more sense once it moves a little bit more, but if you dive into the gold box, uh, the gold chart, there is a bit of a change of character to the downside now. It is holding though. So we did have a test here, breakout, come straight back in, tested the top, projected, come back down, bounced off there. So these are like the, the pivot point plays you can trade, right? Um, when, you, when you can find your own channel and draw it up, you can essentially just pick one of these bounces and just trade it, right? Have a stop loss just below it, just for safety. But that's just like a pivot point play. It's a different strategy that people use. Um, yeah, I use it myself at times. It just depends how clear it is. but. What happened was once it broke out of here, kind of tested and shut the bed and came through. And it's this test again and then failure. That's telling me that it's a change in character right now. So there could be this final time for this last rally to sort of digest, pull back a little bit and have a healthy correction. Maybe time, maybe time. Hasn't started yet. It's not started yet. I mean, there's a lot of boxes here. Yeah, so we need to kind of get it down to here for that to be healthy. Test like the 1953 price zone and then potentially bounce up there. But we do need to see this sort of tickled and triggered like on a pullback for it to be a healthy movement. So we've got um let's have a look. What else we got? So that's the, that was gold, right, it's so the XY. So that goes up, gold goes down, so the stock market goes down too. And gold goes up, the opposite happens. So that usually means, yeah, gold goes up to DXY. Goes down. Anyway, so yeah, so that's the gold. Oil, just out of interest, we jumped through a few of these. It's gonna be a little bit ugly, but we'll work through it. Oil is working on the sideways consolidation, so it's sit back down, broke character, touch the massive, that's the fib line, this massive fucking rally, right? To a T, 0.5, bounced off it like a motherfucker. Um, broke out of the top part of this channel, and then, yeah, just shut the bit again and pulled back. So what I'm expecting to see is probably another test of this bottom of the channel, or start making like new higher lows and start moving to the upside. So this could, Swing, swing, deck to tested, tested, you pull back and then bounce. Yeah, there's a lot of volume action up here. It could be a very healthy movement coming up shortly, depending on how it what, how it responds to that 7279 price area. So just keeping an eye on that. It's looking very, very interesting. Um we've got what have I done? Yeah, so those sectors, the Aussie sectors. What I might do is I'll just jump into a quick sector watch and then leave it at that and move forward in the next couple of days with some other stuff that I'm looking at. But so this is what's happening right now. If we just dive right into the the Aussie market, so let's look at the uh, let's look at the chart first. XJO. Yeah, let's look at XJO. The XJO. So 
so what we've got here is um, yeah like what we saw in the American market so we pull up to upside and back down so what I'm gonna see happen here is yeah we've had a dive in first I'll let you know what I'm thinking and why so on this last rally up to the upside, right, we've had no real change in character, just a normal movement, a pullback finally, jump off, the sideways consolidation, and then finally we're making lower new lows, right? So higher lows, and now these are new lows. And it's heading south, it's moving fast. So now if, if we have touched the 0 0.2 fib line, um, that's the first support. We had a bounce, but I do believe that's not over yet. Uh, I do want to see it close above here for that to stay positive. But for now, for this to be a healthy movement, it still needs to digest and head back down and probably test this um, price zone. Or this, yeah, the price zone is 7,400 really. Yeah, about there. That's where it was last price action too. So if a break below there, that's going to yeah be very, very negative and end up being very bearish for the Aussie market. I'm going to be keeping an eye on that, but that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking for a shorting, just because there's general change of character now. And then, why? Well, let's check out the sectors, right? So do jump into all the sectors. Zoom right in. We've got, yeah, you can see, uh, out of the you look out on the weekly a sort of sideways um, consolidation since bloody 2013 really then we had this you know, shit the bed moment because of COVID it came back up it's still sideways consolidation so we're still trying to work out what it's doing the strength of it right now we are in this tight wedge this form this tight trend line and we have officially broken it just and March 14th tested made a double ABC bottom it came through but it's still looking pretty weak and the MACD is about to turn to the downside so I do believe it's going to come back down test this trend line if it breaks yeah we're heading down if that bounces well we've still got a lot yeah got a nice big movement he heading this way um, we've got the materials sector is um, What's the materials doing? Yeah, we've got. That's oh, pretty ugly. I mean, there's a lot here. I was tracking it for a while. Clear it up while we've got you guys on the phone. So, yeah, we've got. I think it's just going to be a little bit of a hiccup and get drawn back down to this magnet box, right? Um, it's looking very negative on the indicators. Uh, it is oversold though, so if I get a hiccup and do it like a head and shoulders come back down alternatively they just break down from here so I um, believe these two being the biggest guys the biggest uh, biggest pie yeah hold the biggest part of the pie in this Aussie market if they move to the downside it'll just drag the entire market down with them and we do have like uh, communications moving you know, upwards yeah, pretty positive upwards channel it's looking pretty good yeah um, healthcare is in an upwards channel too Nothing too overly exciting, but yeah, it's looking like it could pull back. So I believe, yeah, drag the market down. Yeah, another potential to pull back in consumer staples. It's had a healthy move to the upside now. It's probably digested. There's a double valley there. So I believe that's going to trip. But yeah, head back down. Do another triple valley potentially in it. Let's see as it comes. Consumer discretionary, same thing. Moving up in this tight wedge. Uh, it's nothing clear yet. Um, there is a divergence there that went up this went down not looking good expecting a bit of a pullback industrials have really overshot like there's this tight sideways consolidation not too tight but yeah it's been moving like sideways for the last just a couple of years um, to test it down here but it then just absolutely roared since then broke straight through and it's hitting the top of this. I just put this channel together now, so that could be where it was. It's going to pull back. We'll see. Um, the energy sector is just looking so unhealthy at the moment. There's potential for this big pullback now. 
I'm just watching that. It's failing to hold. It's just losing its weakness. You can see lower highs, lower lows. Yeah. Hopefully that's going to head down to the downside. And then our IT is looking very, very interesting. Could break away now, especially with all this AI technology that's coming out. There could be some really hot sectors in there. So I've been diving into them. I'll share my research with you guys shortly. But this is essentially what we're looking at here. We're looking for this break, break up and out test of the trend line and then just yeah nice little movement to the upside it's basically in the dream scenario but I dare say we'll probably have a pullback now since it's overdue the MACD flip uh, that's in the middle that's looking really positive too so the trend's staying strong so yeah we have a pullback even just a bit we shall see I'll leave it at there guys I'll dive more into it it's like clearing up my thoughts as the days go by for now, take care, stay safe, and yeah, watch yourselves out there, guys. It is a tough market. All the best.